What I'm trying to get at is jealousy and envy are not to be underestimated. They may seem like something going on inside of you or inside of me. It's just a feeling that I have. It's just an itch that I have. Literally, by the way, al-hasad is actually al-qishr, literally a peel and a scratch. They describe it as, a, as, a, as a, an insatiable itch inside of the heart, like when some locust or bug bites your skin and you want to just keep scraping it. And the more you scrape it the, worse it, the worse it gets. You're just supposed to ignore it and let it pass. The feeling may come, but you have to let it pass. That's actually what hasad is. You know, Al-Hasan rahimahullah ta'ala anhu said that I've never seen anybody who's a wrongdoer that looks more like the victim than someone who's jealous. You know, someone who's a wrongdoer has a victim. But in this case, the wrongdoer is the victim. That's what he says. He's the wrongdoer, he's doing jealousy, but he's the victim himself. This is why in one of the remarkable surahs of seeking Allah's protection, we seek protection of someone who acts jealously. وَمِن شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدٍ we, we, ask for, we ask refuge from the evil of the one who's envious, especially at the time that he's demonstrating his or her envy, at that very moment. It's a very, very serious thing. It can lead to some very serious problems in my life and in yours.